Hi everyone and welcome. Sometimes you run into a situation where a virtual machine needs to directly access a storage volume rather than accessing storage as a virtual machine disk file. And in this video, we're going to show you how to do that. I've already connected into vCenter, as you can see. I'm going to navigate to VMs and templates. And once again, we're going to be using our CentOS 5 file for this. I'm going to edit the settings. And we're going to add a new device. And in this case, it's going to be an RDM disk. So that's going to be a direct access to a volume. We'll select that. And we can see that we have one uh, iSCSI LUN that's available to us. So in this particular case, it's going to be through iSCSI. I'll select that and click OK. And if we expand out the new disk, there are some options. We're going to make sure that the link from the virtual machine to the volume is actually stored in the same folder as all the other files for the virtual machine. That's what the location is about. We're not going to be uh, sharing. We are going to be specifying that this will be a virtual compatibility mode. You'll be able to see details about that in your theory book if you're interested in it. And that's really all we need to do for that. I'll click OK, wait for this to reconfigure, which is now done, and we'll power on the virtual machine and make sure that we can see that. OK, so our VM's powered up and ready to go. I'm going to launch the console, and we'll log in as root. And we want to be able to see that we can see that new volume. We use fdisk-l as our command. And with the results of that command, we can see that there's a slash dev slash SDA device, which is the VMDK file. And there's also a slash dev slash SDB, which is that volume that we attach to. I'm going to exit out of here. And we are going to shut this down and remove the disk. So we'll shut down the guest and wait for a second for that to take place. Okay, that's done. We're going to edit the VM settings. And if we want to get rid of that disk, all we do is hover over that and click on the X beside it and say OK. And that disk is now removed from the configuration of that VM. And although that was an RDM disk, you would do exactly the same thing with any other kind of disk to remove it. That's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.